Welcome back to On the Beat, everyone. I'm your host, Rachel Hurt, and joining me today is Chuck Easley of the Easley Law Firm in Columbus, Mississippi. And today we are talking about criminal charges, circuit court cases, and how we can get the best lawyer to help us get out of those situations. Hey, Chuck, how are you? I'm doing great. Great to be here with you. Thanks for coming back to sit down with me. I appreciate your time and the information that you share with us always. <laughs> it's what you're here for, right? That's well, right. Today I want to get into the guts of the circuit court. So when a felony case is sent to circuit court, what happens next? It goes, in, first the case is presented to a um, grand jury. Okay. And then the grand jury, which usually make up 15, 18 uh, potential jurors, they hear the evidence in the case. And it's a one-sided evidence. It's just the state side. And they decide if there's enough evidence that the person accused of the crime, the defendant, should stand trial. And they can either... Uh, grant with, uh, a true bill, which means they're going to be indicted, and uh, or no true bill, which sometimes you uh, want to send it back for more investigation or there's not enough evidence there. How's the grand jury selected? Uh, basically just like another jury. Um, they're selected uh, by the circuit uh, clerk um, at random. They mm -hmm. come up there and then the circuit judge picks out anywhere between 15, 18 or more of the jurors to go in there and hear the, the uh, proceedings in front of the grand jury. Interesting. The grand jury is only presented by a district attorney or an assistant district attorney. Okay, okay, I didn't know that. What kind of motions can be filed by the defendant in the circuit court? Well, I like to file uh, motions. I would like to, usually if a person gives a statement, I'll file a uh, motion to suppress the statement if they have a search of their house or their vehicle or their person, I'll file a motion to suppress the search. In murder cases where there's a lot of publicity, lawyers usually will file a change of venue, a motion for change of venue and say there's too much publicity and mm -hmm. you want to move it like from Lowndes County up to Marshall County or someplace like that so they haven't heard. Home. The reason I like to file motions is they rarely get granted. But again, you hear evidence. Sure. You get to hear what the state's going to say, what the sheriff's department's going to say. And that jury gets to hear it too, right? Not in, that, not, not in, that, in those motions. The, circuit, the motions in circuit court, there, there's no jury present. Oh, okay. But it helps me um, formulate a defense. Understood, understood. What's the difference between that and a plea bargain? Plea bargain usually... Um, most cases go off on a plea bargain. The district attorney's office will offer you five years, ten years, whatever. And more than likely, if it's, a, if it's not a violent crime, they're probably going to offer you five years and then five years probation and a fine. Okay. Um, most people take a plea bargain. But uh, sometimes the plea bargains are so hard, hard mm -hmm. that you have to go to trial. And... Uh, even, even though there's, at times, people don't realize about 10% of the people that go through circuit court are, are not guilty. Really? But they're charged with a, with a crime, and, and you, you're charged with a crime where you could get 10 years if you go to trial. Mm -hmm. Or they give you a plea bargain of probation. I think I'd take the, the latter. You're going you're gonna <laughs> to take the probation rather than risk 10 years. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And there's a, a case called North Carolina versus Alford. It's a U.S. Supreme Court that says you can plead guilty even though you're not guilty. If you think you're going to be convicted at trial, you want to take the lesser of the two evils. Really? I've never heard that before. And does the defendant always get a jury trial? If you want one, yes. If you want one, right? People hire me for jury trials. If you, if you want to go over there and plead guilty, you don't need me. You just need a public defender. I see. I, see. I try cases. I'm a trial lawyer. Same rights at a jury trial the defendant yes. would have? Yes. I see. I see. You have a lot of light rights when you try a case. Uh, you get to hear the evidence against you. You get to hear the uh, testimony against you. You get to put your own case on. You get to put jury instructions in. Uh, there's, there's a, you have a lot of rights when you go to a trial. That's really interesting. Well, you're going to have to come back next time and tell us more because we've got lots more to talk about, okay? Sure. That's all we have time for today. If you have more questions or want in more information, please get in touch with Mr. Easley at the Easley Law Firm in Columbus, Mississippi. We'll be back after this short break.